Okay, um, this topic is probably going to be very controversial. And as you all know, I've made dating videos and other things about women on here, which I thought it was cool saying it. But this is a completely unbiased standpoint. This is about how other men would feel in this position. Now, I'm about to talk about single mothers, but what I'm not talking about are the ones that have a man who, a baby's father who's already dead and he's not coming back. And she ends up finding a family with somebody else. That's completely different. This is not about those women. But here are the women that have a single, who, have a, who are a single mother, that have a baby daddy or two different baby daddies with somebody else. And about a man who wants to have a family of his own and settle down with this woman. This is why a lot of us will not do that. Okay, ladies, listen. The thing is, let's say I date a single mother right now, okay? And uh, I'm at the age where I want to settle down. And let's say the baby's daddy is still alive. Um, let's say I'm a better man than he is. Maybe I'm better with the kid than he is. The problem is, the woman is never going to completely let go of that man. Especially if it's a woman that's always bad-mouthing him, saying he's not worth anything, he's trash. He's a piece of garbage and all that sort of stuff. She still has feelings for that guy. She still loves that guy. What that means is I still love you. I just wish you were better. If you were better, the guy, me, that I'm with now would not be here. So that's a problem, you know. Um, As a man, I couldn't put up with that, you know. That's just me. And there's nothing wrong with the female. But, um... Part of it is to blame the baby daddy for not stepping up and doing his job. If you didn't want to have kids or anything, then, you know, you know what you should have done differently. But, uh, look, any man, every man wants to have a kid. Every man worth anything wants to have a kid and be there to raise his kids. Okay, I'm not talking about the ones that are dead and can't be there physically. You know, I'm talking about the ones that were able, but, but choose not to. Okay, uh, another reason is the respect factor. A single mama. If her baby daddy is still alive, or even two different baby daddies or whatever, still alive, she will not respect you the same way she will him. That's just the way it is. Okay, it's just hard to do that because you and her don't have that connection. You guys will never have that connection. Once her and the baby daddy went through the process to have that kid, you know, there's going to be a connection there forever. Okay, you're not going to establish that because that's already been taken by somebody else. That's why a lot of the times the a, a single mother or ends up dating somebody else that isn't with the baby daddy. A lot of the times she's there. She likes the guy, yeah, but she's always going to have that respect factor and the feelings for that man that she had the kid with. And she will never respect you the same way. I'm pretty, I can guarantee you right now that woman will not talk to that baby daddy the same way she talks to you. She won't be disrespectful with him like she is or tries to do with you. Okay, it's like you have to prove something to her when you shouldn't have to, you know. Me personally, the baby daddy don't want to be with you. If anything, you're lucky to be with me. That's how I feel if I was in that position. But that's just those are just my thoughts on that. Um, another reason would be just the heartbreak, you know. Remember, she's already heartbroken. That's why she's with you. She's probably with you for resources because she knows the baby daddy is not helping to raise that kid, is not providing for that kid. And you no, know, I'm not saying she's not attracted to you. I'm not saying she don't like you or feel something for you. She probably does. But you want a woman that's going to want to be with you and be there and know that there's a higher chance or, uh, you know, you're not temporary. You don't want to be that guy, especially you're a guy that falls in love and means it. OK, you don't want that because let's say you've invested in this woman. You're helping raise the kid and all that. Guess what? All that other guy, the baby daddy has to do is show that he's set somewhat improvement. He's going to promise her and tell her what she wants. Her. Baby, I'm not going to cheat on you no more. Baby, I'm going to go to get a job. Baby, I'm going to quit doing drugs. I'm going to stop smoking and this and that. She's probably going to fall for it and go back to that guy and be OK with the possibility of having a harder life with him instead of with you. And as a man, you're going to be heartbroken. You know, so that, that's another reason why I couldn't date a single mother, because relationships, marriages, in my opinion, are long term. They're there to stay unless it simply just doesn't work out as far as I go. And it should work out. You should know that long and long before you actually decide to marry her or him, you know, both ways, man or woman. But that's just my opinion. I just couldn't, you know, I don't want to be seen as a second option or. Uh, he, she's with me for what I got, not because of who I am and how she feels about me. 
Think about it. You know, if she's always bad mouthing him, she still loves the guy. That's obvious. Well, like I said, it, uh, unless the baby daddy is dead and gone, don't go after a single mother. That's my opinion. You know, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know, that's the only exception if he's dead and she has a kid and she, you meet her and you get to know her and then you have your own family together with her. And if you're okay with raising somebody else's kid, that's up to you, man. Like me personally, that would be something I'd be okay with. I know the baby daddy won't be there. He won't be back to cause drama because of the female and all this other crap. That's another thing is drama, by the way, you know, but if I'm think about this guys, you know, and women too, older women that have a son about my age in their twenties. Do you want your son being with a woman whose baby daddy is still alive and you're the one providing for that kid and being a good man to her and she still has feelings for the other guy and just like that she'll leave him not because she don't like the guy but she still has feelings and more respect for that other guy that you'll never have do you want that in your son do you want your son to go through that and get heartbroken i'll let y'all answer that so before you get mad at me, just be realistic. I'm not calling these women nasty. I'm not calling these women dirty. I'm not saying these women are trash. No, I'm not saying that at all. Okay? I understand things happen, but at the same time, if the baby's daddy's still alive, she's always going to see him as number one. You will not be able to compete with him. That's just the way it is. Plain and simple.